As a traveler, as a tourist, as a Kiwi going to Nashville, it's pretty much everything you've ever wanted to experience. You know, if you've ever seen it in TV shows or, or movies, um, you're kind of getting that quintessential music experience. And it's celebrating songwriters. It's celebrating an incredible history um, of country music. And we're talking, you know, right from the pretty much the dawn of the music industry. Um, it just has, it's just so rich mm. with history. And um, every every corner has has that history. It's it's just, um, it's, it's a pretty magical place. Yeah. What are some of the must-see? So you mentioned the Bluebird Cafe. Where else should yeah. we make sure we go? Oh, well, definitely the Ryman Auditorium. Mm. The Ryman Auditorium, they call it the Mother Church because it was originally a church, um, but was quickly taken over by concerts and everyone from Louis Armstrong to um, God, most recent, everybody plays that room. Uh, the history on that stage, you know, and, and of course, goes without saying the history of country music, the Grand Ole Opry, which is the world's longest running uh, live radio show. Um, was performed on that stage for decades. Um, it then got so big they had to move it. They built a huge Opry house, which is a little bit more on the outskirt of town, which holds, I think, 4,000 people. And it's all air conditioned, which the <laughs> Ryman wasn't, yeah. you know. And, you know, the history is so rich there. They they cut out the circle in the middle of the stage where all the artists would stand at the microphone to sing. And that circle is now at the Opry house, um, so people still do shows at the Ryman. Um, have you ever performed there? Oh, that's on my bucket list. Okay. <laughs> I've yet to perform there. I've been to many shows there. Um, but that's on my bucket list is to play the Ryman and to play the Grand Ole Opry, um, which I think is every country music artist's <laughs> dream from the time they're knee high. Um, but it's just such a rich fabric and you know and you just want to be a tiny thread in that fabric i recently binge watched the ken burns documentary country music which just came out a few months ago and just the incredible 16 hours of the history of of country music and you could barely scrape you know the surface yeah. but um just to be a tiny thread in that fabric is is amazing